truly be free. Free from the worry and doubt that holds my soul bondage in the form of flesh. Because the flesh is the start of all of our temptation. But even though we may be seduced, we should never be completely subdued. Because as our mind, body, and spirit stay true, the past becomes presence and our footsteps become in tune. And as we walk as one, our once dark past become bright under the new morning sun. Because through the sun, darkness could bear no residence. And all the devil's plans and schemes are irrelevant. So I keep my faith because growth is evident from a seed that becomes a tree to the nine months needed to conceive me. And like the wind, faith is something you can't see. But still people look for growth physically and that's when they hurt themselves spiritually by taking prayer out of schools <laughs> and not using the Bible literally. Man has found the perfect formula to kill themselves slowly and continuously by putting their faith in the physical and denying themselves in the spiritual. So now the greed of man has become habitual where the thorns of green has sucked the faith out of the intellectual, so nuclear warfare is inevitable because the mind of the faithless is corruptible and the flesh susceptible to the worry and doubt of this world. In contrast to the confidence and dominion given to us by God through faith. So I choose to live in a spiritual confidence because to live in the physical is to achieve sure death. And the spirit is eternal. And I should live forever. That's, there. <laughs> That's my bro. That's what's yeah, going That's me. the only right That's there. what I'm talking about, baby. Let's get it going, going. Uh. Let's get it going, going.